Hey guys, today we are in Goldmark 7 and a few days ago I enabled the road sign uh, assistant in this car. So basically it means that the car is using the camera um, uh, installed over here. This camera is uh, designed to work with features like uh, dynamic light assist or light assist also um, uh, line assist so the car keeps uh, keeps in the middle of your lane but you can also enable the road sign assist and once you do it in the car menu if you go to setup you will find in driver assistance that there's a new new uh, new position dynamic road sign display you can uh, turn it on and also in the instrument cluster you will have a new position which is dynamic road sign display and basically this means that the camera um, uh, on your windscreen is reading the signs on uh, on the road and when there's a speed limit you can see the speed limit over here when you are um, when you set your um, board computer to this uh, uh, to this view also on the navigation screen in your uh, upper left corner you will see the current speed limit and if you uh, use uh, your steering wheel buttons to uh, set the view to some other um, information like for example let's set it to audio you can still see the speed limit over here at the top there's a small 90 and if there's no overtaking allowed at a certain place you will also see here next to the speed limit that, that there's no overtaking allowed uh, same goes for the navigation screen, you will see the speed limit and the overtaking limitation. Okay, so let's take a quick trip down the road and let's see how it works. Okay, so I'm leaving residential area. There's a 70 limit over here. And as can you see, as soon as I pass it, there's a 70 over here. And this works not only with uh, traffic signs, but also with a navigation database. This is uh, called fusion mode. Oh, there's a 50 coming up over here. Oh, I can, I can see that there's 50 on the display. Uh, this is called fusion mode, and we, this means that um, uh, your instrument cluster will show you not only traffic signs, but also the navigation database speed limits if, uh, if of course, those limits are provided for the road that you are currently on. Okay, so let's look for overtaking signs. Okay, now there's, there's 70 and 100 meters later there's 40 with uh, overtaking, overtaking limit. 70 17 overtaking 14 overtaking and back to back to 70 you can see it over here as well for a couple last uh, days i've noticed that this feature works best if there's no glare if you are not going directly at the sun because of course it's based on the camera and the image recognition so if your windscreen is dirty or if you're going right at the sun it can uh, skip uh, some of the some of the signs so you cannot rely on it 100% Okay, check the description below this video. There's a full um, and the full uh, activation procedure over there. You can use OBD11 or whatever diagnostic interface you want if it's capable of changing um, coding and adaptation values in VAC cars. And this was uh, tested in uh, this Golf Mark 7. This is 2016 TDI. But the procedure should be the same for other MQB platform cars. So you can try it in Audi A3 8V, you can try it in Skoda Octavia Mark III, you can try it in Seat Leon. Give me a thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future videos. See you soon.